Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. This is Jeb Hanworger and today's June 20th, 2016 and I wanted to update you on some important developments in the lithium sector. Um, if you take a look at the chart on the top left, uh, that's a chart of LIT which is the Global X Lithium ETF and if, if you see here where we have been in a very powerful uptrend in 2016 um, and it seems to be continuing. For years I have highlighted lithium as the new gasoline. I highlighted an article entitled Lithium, lithium Ion Batteries Becoming the Fuel of the Future. You can type it into Google Lithium Ion Batteries Fuel of the Future this was written over two years ago and I highlighted and forecasted demand increasing exponentially for lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles and you can see the article was published on Seeking Alpha more than two years ago now two years later even the big players the huge investment banks such as Goldman Sachs are finally entering the sector um, they put out a report about uh, lithium being the new gasoline. Uh, there's a video you can see on YouTube. Um, Bob Court, who is the head of the Industrials and Materials Research for Goldman Sachs, explains how lithium could unlock the mass market potential of electric vehicles. So the large, huge investment banks are just beginning to catch on to the story. And there's not many high quality situations that are out there so the few companies that are going to really be uh, the top quality assets are going to be and the top technologies with the top management teams that have prior track records of success um, could see a major increase of institutional interests. I recently sent out a video update last week highlighting Lithium Americas, which can be traded as LAC on the Toronto and as L LACDF on the OTC for US subscribers. And I hi highlighted the bullish chart pattern. I highlighted the top quality asset in Argentina, the recent addition of uh, Dr. Deke, who uh, has experience at Tesla and, and a large a great experience in the lithium ion battery sector the recent um, appointment as chief technical officer um, and I was keeping a close eye on the 50-day moving average which you see here on lithium America's LAC.to rising here and look at this bounce and support on huge volume coming in today up 15 percent up 12 cents um, and looks like it's going to take make a run at new highs at a dollar and possibly break through there and it does appear to be making a breakout um, from this ascending triangle pattern this continuation pattern on huge volume as I expected the stock has bounced off uh, on great on showing excellent support and it's not going to be a surprise to us uh, and to our readers if institutions are looking um, Huge volumes coming into Lithium America's huge accumulation. This may be indicating that institutions are looking at Lithium America's for their most advanced lithium, as they may be the most advanced lithium junior with the highest quality asset, partnered with the lowest cost lithium producer, SQM, um, Society Dodd Chemica e Mineralis in Argentina. Um, and they're trading on the North American exchanges. Many of these junior lithium stocks are traded on, also on the Australian stock exchange. So Lithium Americas is one of the most advanced, highest quality asset traded on the North American exchanges um, for, uh, for, for North American investors. Uh, please pay attention to recent news items Lithium America has appointed the former Tesla senior energy engineer Dr. David Deke as the chief technical officer according to his LinkedIn profile Dr. Deke 
and managed significant projects at Tesla, including processing raw materials from mine to Gigafactory. And he commented in the press release that he's thrilled to join the team at Lithium Americas. The company's on an important mission and is well positioned to play a critical role in enabling sustainable transportation. The company, company's commitment to advancing its lithium projects comes at a time when the market requires additional sources of lower cost lithium supply. I have known the principals at Lithium Americas for several years, and they have consistently demonstrated a creative approach to solutions in both process te technologies and collaborative business structures. This appointment, in my opinion, is, is a strong boost of confidence in the project um, in Lithium Americas. And this may start getting attention from the major institutional investors looking to get into the battery sector. Now, moving on to the bottom right here is Graphite One. As you see, they had a huge move, um, made a big breakout uh, at 10 cents here, pulled back to 10 cents uh, in April, and then made another huge move up to the 18 cents area. And now, um, has has pulled back once again but they're they're pulling back um to that 10 cent breakout area uh where which is maybe an exceptional um opportunity they came out with big news today um showing um performance tests on coin cells that they manufactured from what they're calling now the stacks graphite um, from their Alaska project and gra the Graphite Greek Creek project in Alaska, which is known as the largest large fake flake graphite deposit in the U.S. But what's unique about it is that the graphite is showing some unique properties of high performance, high stabil stability, uh, stability, which is quite important for um, battery manufacturers who are looking to improve power output and the efficiency and the life of the battery. And Anthony Houston said in the press release today that electric vehicle battery end users have had to, had to make a choice between systems, systems that deliver high power and high energy. Based on these new results and observations made when processing the stacks graphite, we'll focus on our development work on determining whether our stacks de derived graphite can de de deliver both high energy and high power performance. We continue to be encouraged by the naturally occurring properties being revealed in our graphite creek graphite. It's important to note that the economics of our project will not be known at any level of confidence before the completion of the PEA, which is expected to um, come out third quarter of 2016. So that's in the near term. Um, and then they're going to go into feasibility. but. Uh, PEA is going to be a, a crucial step for them. Third quarter of this year, Graphite One GPH on the TSX Venture, and it's GPHOF on the OTC. Finally, I want to um, revisit Nano One, which we started hi highlighting earlier this year, uh, and it's had a phen phenomenal move and pulling back to the 50-day, and it looks also like it's bouncing off the 50-day moving average as the investors are beginning to see this unique qualities of this company. Great management, experienced chairman, prior track record. Earlier this month, they reported that they finished the design phase of the lithium battery material pilot plant. Um, that they completed this design phase of this pilot plant, which should be completed in early 2017. This pilot plant is going to attempt to simulate full-scale production of battery materials, specifically cathode materials, for the battery, which could be lower cost, cobalt-free, and better performing. They have a series of patents on Nano One materials, and um, it could it could be quite exciting for the sector. Some technologies that even improve. The batteries to become better, strong, better performing, large, uh, better charges, better material, easier materials that are lower cost. Um, some of these materials come from conflict areas. So 
what's interesting is in the press release, the CEO, uh, Don Blondell, um, he stated that we have confidence uh, in our piloting concepts and they've materialized into a platform that should readily scale. With these activities on target and underway, we are well positioned to execute our business plan and advance our strategic objectives. And you should take a look at their June 7th press release. So to conclude, lithium sector, again, one of the best performing sectors in 2016, um, highlighted the break, the, the bounce off support today of Lithium Americas um, and Nano One. Highlighted the news of Graphite One and the performance tests. Uh, so keep a close eye uh, on the lithium sector. Uh, important dates early 2017, Nano One for um, the pilot plant, quarter three, uh, 2016, PEA for Graphite One. And uh, important um, bounce off support for Lithium Americas. Um, so lots of interest in the lithium sector, uh, lithium ion battery sector, um, one of the best performers, even outperforming gold, uh, this, this year, uh, and, uh, this could be a quite exciting year, uh, in 2016 for the sector. So that's all for today, folks, June 20th, 2016, uh, stay tuned and stay patient and keep your fortitude. All the best.